Hello everyone! Hey! And welcome to Uncut Gaming. Where we don't edit our videos. But we are killing each other in the forest. Oh no! Yes. And racing for 30 victory points in Root. We're not killing each other, we're, we're just wrestling. Right, as, we're battling. As friends and, do. Right, right. Yes. Okay. So Root is not sort of, you know, our usual cup of tea. No, this it's is a bar quite far from it. Yeah, uh, mainly because it's uh, a race to victory points and a lot of uh, negative player interaction. Mostly negative player interaction, like that's yeah. how you win. You are right. in each other's faces constantly. Yeah. yeah, It's also asymmetric inherently, which is something yes. that we don't tend to gravitate towards. Mm -hmm. Right, but although I have to say, like, I don't have an inherent problem with it. Just it's just that most of your games don't employ that technique. Yeah. You know. All right. Um, however, because the iPad um, version came out, game uh, came out, and the Steam um, version as well. The Steam version right. as well, and uh, we'll talk about the app uh, later on. But that app got me into Root, and then we borrowed this copy from a friend, mm -hmm. and so we're gonna play it. Because why not? Uh, we're going to cover the rules also. For content. Yes, mm -hmm. for content. Uh, no, I, we have, I have stuff to say on the, on the game as well. Playing it a lot on the iPad. iPad. I will be on mute. In any case, uh, we will also do a rules overview because the rules are pretty hard to decipher from the rule book and uh, the tutorial on the iPad game is not that great, on the digital game is not that great. So, and it's not a complex game, it's just that you know you have to perhaps go it the right way. So we'll try to do it, it's, it's a relatively simple game. And then we'll start, right? We pick two of the four factions that come with the base game. I'm playing Marquis de Cat. Yes, and I am playing uh, Airy Dynasties. Yes, Airy Dynasties, all right. So in route, we are uh, playing in, on this map, which is basically 12 clearings. Mm -hmm. right? Each clearing has a type on it, basically sort of um, um, representing the local folk living in that clearing, which has not, ha nothing to do with us. Yeah, those aren't our factions. Right. These are the foxes, these are the mices, and these are the cute Rab ba bunnies, rabbits. Uh, Bunnies, let's Bunnies. say. Yeah. Sure. Uh, this also correlates with the um, uh, suits of the cards, right? Bunnies, mouse, mice, and uh, foxes. And there's the wild card, birds card. Mm -hmm. uh, birds thematically are all over the map, and so they can be uh, used as wild card. Yes. Um, now, the factions are pretty distinct, however, there are common rules. Um, uh, the clearings could have a ruler uh, or, or not. Uh, and that is if one player has the majority of warriors, warriors are these tokens, mm -hmm. and buildings. Buildings are the rectangular pieces over here. That have to be placed on Sorry, the yes. building area. Right. So right now I'm the ruler of this clearing. And if, you, if I join, I'm not the ruler. You're not the ruler, right. Well, you break the rules, but we'll cover that in a second. Um, no, now, in this case, I'm still not the ruler. Right. Now, if you want to move from one clearing to another, there are these paths. The river is just here for um, future factions, so we're going to disregard the, the river entirely, so you have to move via paths. And the rule says that if you want to move from A to B, you have to be the, either the rule of A or the rule of B. So in this particular case, I can only move here. Right. Because I'm not the ruler of either of those, right? And this one, right? Yes. So I can't, I can, t I can take my units over here because I rule this one and but I can the, move this unit over here, right. but this unit cannot move to either right. here or here. So in this case, this unit is stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's movement. Um, the other common thing is uh, battling. So when you battle, uh, you have to have as the attacker, at least one warrior in the clearing that you want to battle at. And then let's say this is the situation first, and then we just roll the dice, and the attacker, let's take this example, the attacker gets the higher die roll. So I'm gonna get the three, and you're gonna get the one. Yes. Now I can deal up to the maximum of my number of warriors and the die. 
So basically it's just one. I can hit you for one, even though this is three. Only if I had like three warriors here, I could hit you for three. Mm -hmm. But that is currently one, and you can hit me for one as well. And this happens simultaneously. So basically you take out my warrior and I take your warrior. And that's it. Yes. Right? If, for example... Cards bypass that though, right? Yeah, there's, yeah cards. Exactly. Right. Now let's say, for example, that you're attacking me here mm -hmm. and you uh, dealt two and I... Rolled two. Rolled two and I rolled one, let's say, right? So you need to, let's say this is a situation, you need to take out two of my uh, things here and warriors will go first automatically, there's no question about it. But if there are not enough warriors to take out, then you start taking other things. Uh, but you get to choose. Right, but then if I have theoretically several things here, pieces here, I get to choose. For example, if I had... This, this right, actually makes sense. Right, right. I could have chosen either to lose the wood or this building. Mm -hmm. um, now, when you remove pieces, pieces are either buildings or tokens, you get one point, right? So in this case, you removed one token or one building and you get one point. So that's one way to get um, points. Um, all right, so that's basically battling. There's a small rule that says that, for example, no, you know what, let's do it like this. If you are um, attacking and there are no warriors of the defending side. I'm attacking a defenseless colony. Right, then basically what that means is that you get um, uh, plus one because I'm defenseless, right? So even though you got zero here, you actually get plus one on top of that, which means that you can remove this piece and mm -hmm. gain one point. Okay? okay. So that's basically battle. That's pretty easy. The last thing that I want to mention was crafting cards. There, there, there are various cards here that affect battling, but I'm going to skip those, I think, at least for now. They're pretty self-explanatory. Right. Except perhaps for the ambush. Let, yeah, we which... could talk about the ambush now. Um, let's see. Do you want to explain the ambush? Yes. During an engagement, you can take out an ambush card. Either uh, as an attacker or a defender, right? So, no. Just, just as, as a an attacker? A, a defender. Let's find the card. Everything's written on the cards themselves. But basically, here's an ambush. Wonderful. So, uh, this card has a fox icon on it. So, if the engagement is in a fox location, right. I can use it. Otherwise, I cannot use this yeah. card. At the start of a battle, defender may play to deal immediate two hits, then discard. So, what happens is, let's say that this is the situation, mm -hmm. and you are attacking me before we roll the die, right? Yes, it's very important. Before we roll the die, I say, ambush. If he done has another ambush, right. he counters mine and both are discarded. Right. If he does not have a relevant ambush, again, has to be a fox icon, he loses two units. And then we roll the die. We do it as usual. So attacker gets higher, defender gets lower. Yeah, that's it. Yep. So, so that was the ambush. There are a few cards that you can craft and then you place right. down and they will give you benefits that you can yeah. use. So we'll talk about exactly how to craft, but I just wanted to mention the fact that these these are the items, and basically items are meaningless in a game without the Vagabond, uh, except for the fact that they are limited. So if I want to, for example, craft this card, that'll give me one point, available. I need to have a bag there, and if there are no bags left, I can't just craft this card. Mm -hmm. But basically that's it for, for crafting. Do you want to um, explain your faction? Yes, I play uh, the Eerie Dynasties. Yeah. You're, you're going to have to correct me a lot on this. I apologize in right. advance. But I always have a leader, one of these four leaders. Yep. And they tell me, first of all, whether I get any specific bonuses. For example, this one says uh, place two warrior, not one, each time you recruit. So when I do a recruit action, if this is my active leader, I get two warriors. Now, they also uh, dictate my starting position on this... Action selection, or yeah. actually not selection, it's, it's just the action board. Yeah, this is my action board. So, if this is my leader, I start with a card in recruit and a card, card in, battle. in battle. So, 
The way my turn works is that during the initial phase, bird song, morning, if your hand is empty, draw one card, add one or two cards to the decree. Only one card may be a wild card. So for example, let's assume this is my hand. I have a hand, so I don't draw a card. And then I have to add one or two cards to this area. Decree, this yeah. is mandatory. I cannot skip it. So this decree will constantly grow. grow. So in this case, I chose to put this card over here. During my actual turn, during the daylight, I have resolved the crease. So I go from left to right, and I must perform all these actions. So first of all, I have to recruit, which means I put units. Then I have to move, and the movement has to be done from a bunny location. Right. Here from it, to or just from? From. It says so. From, from matching, matching clearing. clearing. And then I must do battle. Now, the battle and the recruit are not restricted because they're wild cards. But the bunny is, and if for some reason I cannot do that, yeah. what happens turmoil. is my turn ends immediately, and then we go into turmoil phase. I uh, need to pick a new leader, I lose a bit of victory points, and so on. So this faction is about balancing uh, your actions to make sure you always have an available action and sometimes initiating turmoil on your own terms because this decree is going to get massive and it's going to be unmanageable in like seven eight turns and and maybe even sooner if he does being a mini me mm -hmm. so this faction may seem very restricted however this faction also automatically generates vp at the end of my turn score vp according to the rightmost space so for example if i have built these four at the end of every turn i get free vp automatically Right. So that's your main engine for uh, generating points. You want to end your turn with as many um, roosts on the map. Yes. And I also want to make sure that I can do stuff. Right. Yes. The points that you lose are just the cards in your decree that are wild. Yeah. Just wild. So as long as you keep bumping up those decrees with um, regular cards, you're fine. Yeah, the turmoil right. is not that big of a deal if yeah. you don't have too many wild cards. Yeah. Okay. So that was my faction. Now, one downside to this faction is that unless I have a specific leader, I can't... I, unless I have a very specific oh. leader, I don't get as much points from crafting. Mm. So while right. Dan can get one, two, or three points from crafting, like the other factions get one, two, or three points, I will always gain one. Right. There's a leader that helps me with that, but uh, right. you're it not feels supposed, weird. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're it not feels weird to. to use him. Yeah. And your other passive ability is that you're Lord of the Forest, mm -hmm. which means that you win ties for ruling a, for ruling a clearing. So I rule this clearing, right. even though if I were a different faction, mm -hmm. I would not be ruling right. this Right. Nobody clearing. would have ruled this clearing, this uh, example. Okay. So I'm Marquis the Cat. Um, so, first of all, I have a special building called the Keep. I just, uh, at the beginning of the game, I choose where I want to uh, put it. Let's say I put it here. And the Keep allows me to have a special um, action in which if we battle and I lose warriors, I can return them. It's called a filled hospital. It's, um, I can return them to the Keep by spending a card matching the clearing in which they were lost. So, in this case, I could have discarded a mouse card. And then I put, got, uh, and then I just returned all of the warriors here to the keep. That's one thing. And the next thing that's important for the keep is that only I can place um, pieces in the clearing with the keep. So no other pieces, meaning um, uh, buildings or tokens, can be put here uh, with the keep. The keep, however, is technically technically a building in the sense that it can be removed through battle, mm -hmm. and then I, it can never come back. Oh, yeah. It's not the end of the world, it just means that my field hospital special ability is forfeited, but that's it. Okay. All right. So, um, the fun thing about the Marquis de Cat is that they start with a warrior in literally every clearing, except for the clearing with the first roost that, you'll, that, you, have to, that you have to put in a diagonal, diagonal um, corner for me. 
So theoretically, let's say I put every my keep here, you put your initial roots there, and then every by the way, you start with six uh, in your initial uh, roost. Is it written somewhere? Yeah, it's written on the back side of the player board. Yeah, I'm not gonna flip it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so the fun part is that I start with a, um, a warrior um, on every clearing. And then, this, and then as part of setup, let, let's I'm just. Surrounded by cats. Right. And I'm allergic. That's true. So, um, so as well as as part of setup, I need to put uh, one of every building. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cover them in a second. But the sawmill, let's say I'm going to put here. Let's say I put the recruiting here, and let's say I put the workshop here. Yep. Okay. So at birds on. Do you do that before you get your hand? Theoretically, after, but okay. You know. Then uh, I will allow you to change your mind. Yeah. Hand is what free cards. Yes. Okay. So um, at bird song, I place one wood at every, every sawmill. Yeah. So here I have one wood. There is no restriction to the number of wood that can be placed in a clearing. Mm -hmm. And then in daylight, I can uh, craft and as many cards as I want, but just at the beginning of daylight, uh, using workshops. So for example, if I um, want to craft, let's say, let's just yeah, let's say I want to craft this card, whatever it does. I need to have a clear uh, workshop in a rabbit um, clearing. So, for example, if you were to place them like this, then you could. Craft. Yeah, let's yeah, let's uh, do that actually. So um, that's crafting, mm -hmm. and again, I just take the token, I get the one point, and that's it. I discard the card. Yes. Um, all right, and then I can take up to three actions, um, and if I want to, I can discard wild cards, bird cards for additional actions. So I can have as many actions as I as I want. Um, what? You, you started with them that way, so I don't know, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, the actions that I can take are battle, which we covered, march, which is basically two moves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I move twice. Yeah, as opposed to my move, which is just once. Right. Uh, by the way, we haven't mentioned this, but when you move, you can take as many and uh, at most all of your warriors and then just move them. It's not, it's just not, it's not just one warrior. So as many as you want from location A on to location, location B. Correct. Okay, so I can do march, I can recruit. Recruit means just add one warrior per um, recruiting building. I can build, and building means I, I can build the, uh, le the um, leftmost building here. And this is the cost in wood. And in order to build, in general, for me and for you, you have to be the um, you have to be ruling the clearing. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I cannot just build here. There has to be a space available, right? Mm -hmm. And for me, I have to have um, ruling um, trail in which I pick up the wood. So, for example, let's say I don't rule this, and I have a wood here. I cannot use it. To get it to here because it's not connected to where I want to place it. So uh, in this example, yeah, in this example, you can yeah. build in all of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to disconnect somewhere, but uh, you this have to. This one's be... disconnected. You right. cannot build here. Correct. Yes. Um, so you have to right drop half of, uh, to get the wood, and um, and and actually building building is my main mechanism of gaining points. Because whenever I build a building, I get points. VP. Yes. So I want to build. VP. So I want to build as much as possible. Um, the last action that I can take is just to uh, called overwork. I can discard a card matching a um, uh, sawmill. So let's say I, I can discard this card, this wild card, to just generate another wood at that sawmill. And then perhaps I want to build. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just my last option. And in the evening, just like you. I draw one card, plus one card uh, for every of these icons, and then I have just these two icons. So I can draw up to three cards, and then I need to discard down to five. And this uh, yeah, applies to you as well. Me. Yeah. Um, so that's basically it. Um, yeah, you make it seem so simple. It is not. All right. But uh, are, you have your three cards? I have my three cards. So you want to start? Uh, yeah, you need to. Uh, 
You actually have to do it in your first turn, so if you wait. Uh, I, do I get to see the cards yes. before I decide? Yeah. Okay, that's, Start the game that's now. the only question. All right. So, all right, Birdsong. I place one wood. Done. Uh, by the way, there are these ruins, which come into effect only if you play with a Vagabond, in case you wonder. We'll cover that in the review, by the way. We'll cover the, the rest, the two um, remaining factions in the review. Okay, now I want to uh, perhaps craft, so why not? I'll craft. I'll craft this Woodland Runner's card. Um, I have a... Oh, I don't have one. Okay, so forget it. I won't. I want to then build. So my first action would be to build, and I want to build a sawmill, let's say, over here. That'll cost me one wood, one wood paid, and I get one point. So I get one point. We haven't mentioned, but the game will end immediately once a player reaches 30, just immediately. Mm -hmm. Great, so I've built. I would like now to... Um, I want to probably, let's see, um, yeah, let's overwork. I have a clearing in Fox. Oh, but I don't have Fox. Mm. Sure, let's discard this card, wild card for Fox, just to put another wood in Fox. And then for my third and last action, I will build again, and I will build over here, let's say, and I will build a... Um, what are you going to build? Then? A recruiter. recruiter. Center, for sure. I yeah. gave you the VP. Yep. So now you take a I, card. I card I, uh, yep, I take one card and that is it. Okay. Now hand. it is your turn. So, Fantastic. you so need to... If uh, hand is empty, draw one card. Hand is not empty. Yeah. Add one or two cards to the decree. Right. So you've so, selected the leader. Uh, yes, I have. Okay. I've selected the Despot. despot. Um, if you remove at least one enemy building or token in battle, score one point. Additional meaning. Because yeah. at the base, it, it's worth one point. Yes. So, what I will do is I will add this card okay. to my recruit. Yep. Because I have a clearing in bunnies. So, it makes sense. Sure. And okay, that that's it. Okay. So I added a card. If you have no roosts, I have roosts. Okay, craft, not crafting. I don't want to craft. Okay. Okay. So uh, we resolve the decrees. So first of all, I recruit in bunny. Correct. Second of all, I move. From anywhere. From anywhere that I'm dominant in to anywhere yep. that I'm not dominant in. Yep. And uh, now there are lots of birds here making bird noises. And I build. Excellent. On a wild card. Yep. And that was my turn. Score VP according to the rightmost. Yep. Boop. And draw a card. Okay. Excellent. Your turn, honey. My turn. So I place one wood at every sawmill. Done. I want Next us to question. go on until we get to something resembling a combat. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go to the full playthrough. Okay. Sure. I think that makes more sense, right guys? Yeah. All right. So now I want to craft. So I want to craft just this card, the root T. Mm -hmm. It gets me this T token, which again is Meaningless in this game. Mm, it's herbal tea. You get to VP, which but I just gave VP. you. Great. This goes into the discard. And then I can take up to three actions. Hooray. Um, so obviously I want to um, build. And I have two wood. So let's just put another... Let's say sawmill over here. That'll get me two extra points. Mm -hmm. Gave you two points. Thank you. Then I would want to, let's say, recruit. So I will recruit over here. And I have 
It's one per uh, recruiting uh, building. So I get just two. And then for my last action, I will march. <gasps> and march is just the ability to move Ooh. twice for me. Yes. So I will move one or, yeah, let's just move one over here mm -hmm. and one over here. Um, and that, that was my march. So I built, I recruited and marched. E sorry, evening, I draw one card. I draw one card uh, and that is it. So if you can give me a card. Thank you. <sighs> I am not happy with my cards. Otherwise, I would attack you senselessly and repeatedly. Mm -hmm. But again, I am not happy with my cards, so that's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is I'm going to add another recruitment over here. And that's going to be uh, what I add to the decree. And now I get to craft, which... I will not do because I want to keep my cards and then I recruit one over yonder and one over yonder. Okay. Because two symbols. Mm -hmm. Then I get to move. I think I'm gonna just sure. hang out here. Sure. This seems like a great place to hang yep. out in. And I roost over here. Yep. Which is my build. Yep. Fan. Fantastic. Resolve the decrees, scoring VPs. So I get uh, two. one, two, and I get two cards this time, mm. and they suck. All right. Oh, by the way, I forgot to remove the wood. Uh, okay, place one wood for every um, sawmill. I can craft. I will craft again. I will craft this tea. Yeah. Fun for me. Giving you two more VP. Two more points. And then I want to build a recruiting building, recruiters building, all cost center. Yeah, it's called recruiters. Mm -hmm. So spending the two wood, placing this one, let's say over here. That's another two VP. That's another two VP. And then I will. Mm, I will mm, hmm, I will recruit and then I will march. So let's say you move here and then both of you move here. Very good, honey. Mm -hmm. And then it's evening, I draw two cards. Giving you two Thank cards. Thank you, and that is your turn. So I'm thinking about what am I adding to the decrees. Yep. And what am I adding to other things? So what I think I'll do is I'll add a battle card with the mice, which is a bit risky. But uh, I don't know what to tell you. I think I can handle it, and I'm adding a bunny card to the recruitment. So, first of all, I can craft in theory. I'm keeping my cards. Okay, so we get two in the bunny warren, and we get one in the mice warren. Now, I get to move. So I will move these three over here mm -hmm. because wild card. And then I have to battle in a bunny location. So obviously over yonder, mm -hmm. I'm attacking you. Do you have an ambush? Nope. Okay. So regular battle it is. Mm. So I get free and you get free. Mm -hmm. So these three are removed mm -hmm. and these three and this is a mouse card. I removed. So I will use my field hospital. I will remove one mouse mice card and just put them back here. All of them? That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic. So that was my turn. Mm -hmm. No, wait. Wait. 
I have to build. I shouldn't have moved these two here. Should have moved them over here. Sorry. No, no. That's Still have the build. Important. Oh, there is no space. There is space. Okay. Lots of space. Okay. The only question is whether I had two here or three. You could either rem uh, like build here because you rule it even with if you have one. Uh, but I don't remember. Yeah, but if I undid the action, it needs to be undone wholly. No, that's true. I just don't remember. So it doesn't okay. matter. Okay, sure. So, uh, done, built, and uh, for re-VP, I'm a bit trailing behind on VP, but I will do my best to right. make up for it. Yeah, it's easier for me to get smaller amounts of VP every turn and for you to then build up to... Uh, Higher mounts. Okay, so my turn. turn. So I will uh, put a wood token on every space. And then I can, let's see. Let's build. Mm, hmm. So that's one. Okay. So let's overwork. Who are you overworking, honey? I will overwork in a fox place, a fox sawmill, so that I can put... Uh, and it requires having... Hmm? I don't... A sawmill. Oh, you're, you're overworking, you're not crafting, my bad. Yeah, yeah. And then I will um, build, I think, twice. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm or so you need to battle at mouse right hmm. I'm, okay. yeah. I'm gonna be screwed by this decision but not this turn not this turn maybe yeah. next one so okay so i will build twice mm -hmm. um i'll yeah i'll build these two so that's four points in total mm -hmm. getting me to 14. yeah yeah oh by the way we battled so if you want to stop the game stop the video sorry after my turn okay so i just battled and that's the end of my um turn so i draw two cards please i'll, do I'll give you your two, two cards i'm still thinking about my turn Ish. it's really complicated very complicated okay so i'm adding this to the decrees by the way, you remember that you can put more than one card right just theoretically i, I just... put it last turn i okay. put two last okay, turn okay. and uh I think it went okay. Maybe if I change my mind and do it like this. I mean, I haven't started. I can change my mind. Yeah, for sure. And let's uh, get a mousy mousy. Okay, so I'll craft this, which is a singular VP and removing the sword token. Yeah, it, it Theoretically, it's yours. You can put it here. Barely matters. Right. Did I get the VP? Yes, I did get the VP. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. So let's start resolving stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, bunny, bunny, mouse, mouse. You need to move I out have... of a fox and out of anywhere. So. I am lamenting whether I want to assault you over here. Mm -hmm. And if I do, how hard do I want to go in there? Mm -hmm. So I think that one of my movements is going to be this. Mm -hmm. And the other movement has to be out of a fox. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be over here. Mm -hmm. By the way, we didn't mention this, but the order doesn't matter within a, a, a column. So just, yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's better if I attack you there. I can do more damage over there. Okay, so um, this is going to be one movement, and the other movement has to be out of a fox, so that's going to be a second movement. There really isn't any point to adding more to this ambush. Yes, I'm removing two of your units. So you removed two of my units. I still have to battle. Right. But now I cannot build. You'll... Yeah. 
Oh no! It's gonna be turmoil, honey. Turmoil. Turmoil. So we did the battle, and my next phase is build. Right. I cannot build yep. on a location where I already have a nest. Yep. And I don't have any more clearings where I have majority, so I cannot build. So yep. this action doesn't happen. Yep. What happens is turmoil. Humiliation, lose one victory point for each bird card. So that's just mm -hmm. two. Not really that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. We remove all of the decrees. These get discarded and the loyal viziers stay. Great. Uh, depose. Flip the leader card down and choose a new one and reassign viziers. I again am going to be um, like my decisions are going to be the undoing of me but Mm -hmm. But you have to make decisions yeah, yeah, with this yeah. faction. That's just the way it is. Yeah. And rest immediately in daylight. And my evening says I still score the VP. Yep. So I still get my three points. Mm -hmm. And I still get my two cards. Yep. Okay. So I think this is a decent place to stop. Okay. Right? Right. Right. Yeah. This shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Well, you did like build half a city last yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. All right, so um, uh, in the next video, which is, there is a link down below, you'll find the rest of the playthrough, plus another video for the review in which we'll cover the, re the remaining two factions. Yeah, so join us for the next video for the full playthrough, and uh, see you guys next time. All right. Bye. Bye for now.